So this is S2 chemistry and today's lesson we're going to look at the uses for certain rocks, so how we use rocks. So uh, we'll be looking at the uses for different types of rock and be able to describe the characteristics of rock that make them suitable for their use. So why are they used for their particular purposes? So a recap. What are rocks? So rocks are solid mixtures of things called minerals. And they are classified by the way in which they are formed and each type of rock will have distinctive characteristics. Minerals are solid, regular mixtures of chemicals and they have characteristics that identify them and give them value. Minerals are made of chemical elements. We're going to look at some of the uses of minerals. So these are the things that rocks are made of. So people value and search for minerals for many different reasons. For example, the lead in a pencil is not actually lead, but it's a form of carbon called graphite. And so the lead in your pencil is made up of the mineral graphite found in certain rocks mixed with some clay. And also precious metals are used in commerce and other minerals are valued as gems. So because certain things are rare, like gold and silver and platinum, and also things like diamonds, rubies, emeralds and sapphires, those are all forms of minerals which have value because people want them to make jewellery and other things like that. Now here are three videos that you can watch on the various uses of rocks. Um, I'll try and attach those onto this video so you can click on them. But for now we're going to move on and look at the uses of rocks. So rocks have a wide range of uses or purposes depending on their properties. So properties just means words that we can use to describe the rock. For example, chalk is a rock, it wears down easily. So whenever you um, rub rock, uh, chalk on a surface, part of the chalk stays behind. And that's why chalk can easily be used to write and draw with. Clay is a very, very, very soft type of rock. And it can be used to make things like pottery and crockery. Uh, so crockery just means things like plates and bowls. And it's because it's malleable. And malleable means that we can shape it easily. So we can mould it into different shapes. Slate is a type of metamorphic rock. Slate is very hard, it's impermeable, and if we can remember what impermeable meant, it meant that water cannot get through it. Another good property of slate is that it can be split easily into thin sheets, which makes it ideal for making roof tiles because it's hard, it won't break easily. It's impermeable, which means water won't get through it, so your roof shouldn't leak. And it can be split into thin sheets, which is exactly the sort of shape that we would want for roof tiles. Next we have marble. Marble is another type of metamorphic rock. It's quite hard, but marble also has a very um, interesting uh, appearance, so it's quite attractive to look at and to touch, and it can be cut and polished. And so marble is often used to make floor tiles, wall tiles, and also um, in the past a lot of statues were made from marble too. So it's hard, it's got an attractive texture and colour, and because it can be shaped it will last a long time as well. Granite, so granite is a type of igneous rock. It has crystals inside it. It is hard and it is impermeable. So again, it doesn't let water through it. 
It is often used to make steps and roads as it is a rock that doesn't wear easily. Also, um, there are certain countries, including Scotland, where granite is a common type of rock. And so if there's a lot of it around and it's hard and impermeable, it has been used to make buildings or castles out of. So now we have got obsidian. Obsidian is another type of igneous rock that is made from very, very, very large crystals. Obsidian is sometimes referred to as natural glass and sometimes it's also referred to as dragon's glass because it's formed in volcanoes, so very, very hot temperatures. Obsidian is very hard and so can be cut to make things that are very sharp and gets used by surgeons in scalpels. It can also be used because it is very um, attractive and very crystal-like when it's polished, it can be used in jewellery. So those were um, some of the different uses we have of rock and we should be able to describe why the rock is suitable to its use. Now we've just got a few questions to finish up this video. Give a use for sandstone. So I don't think sandstone was in that video, but sandstone is used for making building materials. So particularly in Paisley and in places like Glasgow, sandstone are the sandy coloured buildings. Um, those are all made from sandstone. It's quite a good material for cutting into blocks and it's also impermeable so it doesn't let water through. The two other rocks that can be used for building materials well, we have granite, which we uh, saw um, can be used to make castles and things like that, and slate, which can be used for making roof tiles. And finally, what is the rock that lots of statues can, uh, can be made of? That one is marble. And that brings us to the end of this video.